Should you get started as a web designer in 2021? I think you know, I'm gonna say yes, but in this video, I wanna explain about three trends that are making it the best time to get into web design. Let's rock and roll. Hey friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. I've been a designer for almost 20 years now. And if you're watching design tutorials or videos here on YouTube, you might be kind of thinking, oh, everybody's already doing it. Everybody's so talented. And I don't even know, you know, with tools like Wix, like our designers and AI, our designers gonna be necessary in the future. And I wanna talk about why you should get into web design now in the year that's coming in 2021. And let's start with three kind of trends or the first one is not really a trend. I wanna talk about what's happening, right? It's COVID 2020, the, the world has in a sense changed and a lot of things shifted. And how does that affect us or you potentially as a web designer? So the first thing is, it, because of COVID, so many businesses around the world, everybody understood online is a must, right? If you were a local business, if you were running a gym or a bakery or something like that, perhaps you didn't even have a website or your website was crappy and you didn't mind too much about it because it wasn't like a, a, a core need for your business. This year, 2020 has changed that for everybody around the world. Everybody understood that you need to be able to sell online, you need to be able to be found online, you need to be able to differentiate yourself online and stay in touch with your customers. So that has kind of been a huge shift in the minds of every business owner around the world, which has just increased the demand of improving my website, make sure I have a website, make sure it's good, make sure I can sell, make sure it's well presenting myself. So that is a huge shift that is creating huge demand in web design. Now, the second thing that happened because of COVID and all of this social distance things thing and all of this work from home is that now even people who were, you know, ideally would rather work with somebody, you know, next to them and go and do a strategy session together and work, you know, on the together with them in a room about a website redesign, which is what I loved so much about working with clients. I love going to their office and hanging out with them. However, this year has proved to everybody, me included, that you can actually do great work from remote and you can run workshops and you can manage a team and you can manage big processes. So that mind shift actually opened up the possibility of working with great clients even if you're not based in a big city like New York or San Francisco or London or something like that. You can still be able to work with great clients because the clients have already broken away from the mentality of, okay, I will only work if this guy can come to my office. Nobody's going to the office anyway, so now they're willing to chat with you. And so they don't really care if you're next to them in the same city or if you're based elsewhere. And I think this opens up a huge of opportunity for us as web designers to work, even if we're not in the big city hubs or have amazing clients next to us, using the internet, people are more receptive right now to working with designers remotely. And I think this amazing trend that means that it's going to be better than ever to be a remote web designer. Now, the, this is something that happened, you know, specifically this year and has kind of drove the industry forward, I think. But there's also kind of like two longer term trends that I think are important and are still making it you know, the best time to get into this right now. So the first one is more and more businesses understand, right? Everybody is going to the internet. We talked about that a second ago, that you need design as a differentiator, right? Everything looks the same. It's another e-commerce website. You're selling shoes, they're selling whatever. You're a doctor, everything looks the same. And you need to be able to differentiate yourself. And that differentiation comes with design. So people understand that if they wanna stand out, if they wanna be different, if they wanna be able to charge premium prices, and we do this a lot, we cover on the website how people can redesign a website to take it from something like super cheap, to something that looks super premium and allows the business to charge more. And they do this by using design, by setting better expectations about what the brand is and what like how premium it is. So businesses understand that if they want to stand out and if they want to be able to charge premium, they're going to have to use design for that. And that means more work for us. And I'm talking about the designers who are going to be working with the premium clients, right? Not with 
clients who don't have any budget and are going to build their website with Wix anyway. But the people who want to stand out understand more than ever that they're going to need to invest in working with a professional if they want to have that design advantage. Now, the third trend that is happening, and again, I've been talking about this for years on this channel, so you might heard me talking about it, but it is the advantage the advance of the whole no code, no code movement, right? So I talk a lot about Webflow here and how it enables designers to build website without code and do more. But Webflow is just one part of this big ecosystem of no code tools. And the the ability that you right now as a designer, as a business owner to hook up all of these services um, to create an online business, right? So you build your website, and then you enable other you know, subscription payments, um, you know, calendar integrations, you know, all of these different um, services into it without having to code. So now you as a designer, you can provide way more value to your to your, you know, client, because you're not just doing the design and then giving it to somebody else, you're actually building a business solution for them, you're actually helping them to build a digital business. Um, and you can do it on your own, you don't have to be a developer or something like this, you only need to know the no code tools landscape as a designer, and it all comes together under the design of the website that you built for them. So I think this empowers designers a lot to be more valuable and help give clients something that really create business results for them, that means that again, they're more valuable and they can charge higher, pri higher prices, and they're going to be more in demand. So I would say to you, no matter where you are in your career right now, you know, web design is going to be an amazing field to be in for the foreseeable future, I would dive in on it, I would learn how to handle these no code tools, I would learn how to help businesses differentiate with design. So you can take advantage of all of these trends that are happening right now. Obviously, we'd, we would love to help you. That's why we're here for so you can check the link below this video to see our programs and see if anyone is a, neat, a, a good fit to where you are right now. But in any case, you know, keep working and keep building because this is an amazing thing for the foreseeable future. Stay tuned. We'll see you on the next video. I don't, rem I don't remember when you're going to see this. So happy holidays. Happy end of the year. Catch you soon.